updates vlog we are going to be at my fixer project in upstate new york and i'm going to be taking you through some new furniture pieces some projects we're focusing on just some fun things i selfishly love making these videos because it always reminds me of the progress that we've made on this place I've had it for two years now and it's still nowhere near done when people ask me i'm always like yeah it's like 10 to 20 percent there listen i have expensive taste i have a vision a dream for this space that i'm not totally sure if it will ever become a reality but we're just chucking along unless someone wants to give me like 100 grand to make some serious progress that would be very welcome and i would smash it out i'm back in the city now i'm having a no makeup day i'm trying to disguise it with my new glasses i just got these i've always wanted a pair of aviators but i didn't think they would suit my face these ones are a little bit more square but at the beginning of this video i wanted to have a little conversation with you guys of some updates that we've come to with this place and just with our life moving forward because it definitely is going to shape the projects that we take on at this house before i get into my home and life updates i wanted to share the sponsor of this video with you guys lena countless photos are lost and forever disappear over time we really live in a digital world and i'm so excited to introduce lena to bring your photos into real life their amber 4x6 photo printer is super compact and sleek here's my hand for size i'm going to show you how i set up and use it to add some hominess and decor items into my space first i'm setting up the photo paper tray with the included paper making sure that i load it the right side up Photos printed by the Lena printer come out in excellent image quality and they are dust proof, waterproof, and fingerprint proof. Storage is super convenient and this photo tray just sits on top of the printer with a magnet when you need to put it away. You open this flap to add the photo paper and, and then this side flap is where you install the ribbon. This printer uses inkless printing so it won't dirty your hands. Then it's time to connect the printer to its Wi-Fi hotspot and download the app so I can print photos directly from my phone wirelessly. This blue light indicates that the connection was successful. I select my printer in the app and then I allow access to my photos and I can start printing. You can experiment with different crops, filters, editing enhancements in the app, which is super useful. I opted for a black and white photo because that fits my interior style best, but I'll also show you some color photos because the color is very true. Every photo that I printed looks like I'm just looking at my phone screen. Here's a look at the printer in action. I'm going to be using these as fridge magnets but i think it would be fun to experiment with some cool framing options i have a lot of inspiration saved on pinterest for those this is an example of a color photo i printed of my dog if you'd like to check out lena for yourself you can head to the link at the top of my description box and now i'm going to get back into my home and life updates basically if you've followed me for a while you know that we still have a place in the city right now kind of just hanging on by its red I honestly am never excited to come back here. I love my slower life. I love the Catskills. I love the Hudson Valley. Everything that I need is truly up there. I grew up in a really rural area in Appalachia. I feel like people always think of upstate New York as kind of having nothing going on, which I completely disagree with. But maybe that's because where I grew up, there's actually nothing going on. In upstate, there's so many amazing small businesses, great food, it's beautiful, great shops, people with amazing style, farm stands, hiking, beautiful nature, swimming holes, skiing, snowboarding. I can't complain. It's one of my dream places. Siggy and I have pretty much 100% come to the decision that when our lease is up on this place in the springtime, we are ditching the city probably for good. For the past six months or so, we have been experimenting with that and subleasing out our place in the city for short periods of time, and we've been loving it. His work does take place in the city a lot of the time, which is why we've still been hanging on here just for a place to sleep that's close to work. And I work here sometimes too, and we obviously have so many friends here. They think we just weren't totally ready to give it up. But the catch here that brings us back to this house is that it's a little bit too far of a commute to do the full-time thing when he is still working in the city or when we still want to be in the city. It's a lot doing the commute, especially during traffic time. We don't live very close to a train station. The train station is like an hour drive away. So what we're planning on trying to do is moving from the Catskills where we are now, probably to the Hudson Valley on the east side where all of the trains are, or at least 
closer over there, but I'm a Catskills girl. It's definitely my preference. It's a lot more remote over there and just a little bit more my vibe, but we need to be close to public transit. The catch is also that places over there are a lot more expensive and I still need to explore. But we're hoping in the next year or so, we can buy a place over there and we'll be able to do that just by ditching this place in the city i think it will still be financially cheaper because rent just keeps going up 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 and we really don't see a long-term future in the city we never have i really don't want to have kids here so we'll see how that goes but bringing it back to our current project house in our dream world we do not want to let go of this fixer project and sell it yet if we don't have to let's we'll see where our finances are at obviously on the east side we're also going to buy another fixer project because that's probably all that we can afford and it's something that we both just love doing. Our current cabin is already in a vacation town. It is a ski town. There's really not very many full-time residents. So we would love to keep the house and rent it out on Airbnb. Still be able to use it ourselves when we're hosting family and friends for ski and snowboard weekends, whatever, but at least kind of have it pay for itself. I would love to have that home forever and pass it down to children. The market in our area is really booming. I don't think it would be financially wise at all to sell right now. Probably not for at least 10 years and listen i know this can be a touchy topic i totally understand all of the issues with the housing market especially in the u.s but also around the world neither of us come from generational wealth and we also just want to do what's best for our future family so those are the decisions that we make we got to protect ourselves and we can't help live in the society that we live in so any future renovation projects are going to have airbnb and flipping the home for a profit in mind but i still want to make really tasteful decisions and have a beautiful space that you guys could come stay in if you're visiting the area it really is my little slice of heaven and i'd be so excited to share it with you all so we're just getting it ready for that and also trying to be financially smart and if i'm being realistic i'm probably not going to get to design my dream home until i'm like 50 and that's okay it can be so fun to get creative within budget constraints and timelines and just have a fun learning process along the way because that's all it really is I just got the coolest bowl and plate set for two from Villeroy and Bach that I wanted to show you guys. It's called their La Boule. I've seen these a lot before and I think it's so cool how it's both a sculptural sort of decor piece but also a functional set. I got their black and white color but they have some other options but it's basically just these beautiful porcelain pieces that stack together which is so Incredible, I'll show you. How cool is that? I have them linked below. I had a hard time choosing between this set and they have a taupe set as well that seems really beautiful. Who knows, maybe I'll get another set one day, but I think this would be a really cool like wedding gift gift for yourself, housewarming. If you have some money to spend, I love it. It's this set that I also really like. But they have full white and black too, and then they have some more colorful ones as well. I have always wanted a hammock on our screened-in porch off our bedroom, and I finally got one. I got this beautiful brown rope, and it has like a canvas pillow on it. I still need to swap out these light fixtures and replace the screen. I think it's gonna last us another winter. It's still fully functional, but I think it's probably at least 20 years old, so it's really loose and we've had to tape up some holes in it. I'm really enjoying spending time out here while the weather's still nice. You can see the leaves are starting to change as well. My computer's out here because I was working and there's some leaves that have come in that I need to clean up. I think. I'll likely want to replace this screen door, but in this area, I want to have like a cafe table, maybe a couple lounge chairs or something. Still figuring it out. Very much so a private area for Siggy and I because it's off our bedroom, but it'd be nice to be able to have a coffee out here, maybe work out here at a little table. Our dogs love hanging out here. I will be reading in my hammock so much. I'm hosting a girls weekend up here this weekend. So I need to get our guest bedrooms ready. And I wanna show you guys around because I've added some things to them. One of our guest rooms is honestly one of my favorite rooms in the house. And I've added a couple bits to our guest bathroom which I've sort of DIY'd for now. It's just a later 
renovation project and I have a conversation to have with you guys about this house period with some updates that Siggy and I have come to in the last month or so just about our future plans and everything but I'm still having so much fun with this house so here's a look at one of our guest bedrooms I recently added these wooden and cane smoked glass side tables I would love to add another one of these Herman Miller sconce pendants on the side I love this room so much because of the beautiful forest view and it's just so cozy with the wood paneling I have linen bedding, some stripes, and I would love to get a dresser or desk in here. The closets have a good amount of storage, so we'll see what we end up deciding. And then here's the guest bathroom that I've sort of DIY'd. I would love to add new flooring and a new bathtub eventually, but there's a new toilet. I recently added this black side table for extra space. There's me, new medicine cabinet, new hardware on everything, door hardware, but the bathtub could definitely use an update. I love this new bath mat I just got. I got one for our upstairs bathroom as well by this brand Homey. This space is pretty good for a DIY job. It looked really rough before. Had a lot of wallpaper, damage, green paint, an old toilet. And then here's what's going on in our main living room. This room still remains a little untouched. Okay, let's be serious. Not actually untouched. It had wall-to-wall -wall blue disgusting carpet and bright blue walls before. I need to get a rug. I recently got rid of our jute rug. I want to reupholster this day bed, which I'm currently covering with a blanket. I found this on auction for so cheap. I share auction finds on my sub stack if you're ever interested for some links and my secrets. I want to have floor-to-ceiling shelving in here, and I'm also ditching these spaghetti chairs. I'm letting my boyfriend take them for his office space i want window treatments i think some pretty curtains and maybe some treatments on the side and we're gonna replace this door hardware no we have still not finished our deck project we just haven't had a handful of days batched together to complete this originally i wanted to sand everything down to wood and do like a transparent stain but that's proving to be very difficult with all of the layers of paint on this the railing is also already a bit wobbly so it's gonna need replaced in like four to five years i would assume so we're gonna paint the railing black and do a nice transparent stain on the flooring. Here's some inspo picks. We'll have to see how that goes. I definitely want to finish before it gets too much colder outside. I've been really enjoying picking wildflowers. We also got some new pieces in for our TV room, which I made a reel about, which I'm going to play for you guys right now. Let's style some new home items together. My living area was feeling a bit drab, so I placed an order on Made Trade, a sustainable and ethical home marketplace for a few new items. I started by making a floral arrangement for this Ikebana stoneware vase. I love picking wildflowers from our land in upstate New York. I added a few stems of varying sizes to the flower frog to make a minimal arrangement. Then I set up a new rice paper lamp by Paper Moon. These are affordable and add such a cozy warm light to any room. This one is size number three but they have varying shapes available. I have a couple of their other lamps in my home as well. This other one I'm showing is size one. My new puppy has ruined a few of my blankets so I wanted to pick out something new and I loved this merino gradient blanket by Studio variously it pairs so well with my corduroy sofa here's a look at everything styled together it's one of my favorite rooms in the house let me know if you have any other ideas for this space and if you want to shop everything is linked on my ltk